Okay, part six of the tutorial for the gingerbread man, and this is the one where we try to make him walk. First thing I'm going to do though is fix the head up a little bit. If you remember when we rotate, he leaves his face behind, which is a bit of a problem. So we'll zoom in a little bit, shift middle mouse. Oh, by the way, I've got this set up so it should display the keys I'm pressing, but I'm kind of in the habit of saying which keys I'm pressing, so we'll see what happens. Uh, right click to select an object, shift right click to select multiple. I'll just go around and get his, all his facial features. And then finally, the head bone. Control P to parent. And this time we're gonna parent to bone. And if I've done this right, I'll go back to the front view, zoom out a bit, R for rotate. And you can see that the head rotates nicely. I'll hit the A key just to deselect everything or select, there we go, select away and then select back. And even without the face selected, it still rotates nicely. I should probably put a little more shoulder roll in there, but uh, I'll, I'll leave that to you to, to solve on your own gingerbread man. I'm going to have to parent the Smarties. Shift again, or shift right click, and then select the bone. Control P to parent. And we've got one last Smartie to do. Control P, and we're done. Now this bone is the, the main one that the rest are parented to. So if I grab this one or rotate, everything should move with it. And then we, we know we've got a complete uh, gingerbread man. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is load the transform tools window. And what I can do here is go down to the bottom or near the bottom and load a picture in the background, which is going to help me with the animation. You don't have to do this, but it's, uh, uh, it can be kind of handy. So we'll go to background image. You'll need to turn it on, add image, open, this is a, an image I found online from idleworm.com and was given permission to use it on the uh, inside of my tutorial so thank you to the creator. Uh, normally what we do is we'd load a picture in the background so we could model or composite directly on top of it. In this case, we're just going to use that uh, there is a little bit of a crutch to help us with the animation. It is handy to be able to see it directly. One problem you might notice, though, is that the animation is facing uh, to the right. And the problem we have is our gingerbread man is facing to the left. So we can solve that quite easily. I'll go to top view. Uh, and all we need to do is select that main bone. It is selected. Back to top view. And we need to rotate 180 degrees. So we'll start rotating. I'm going to hold down the control button when we get close. And that forces it to go to even increments in the rotation. Back to side view. And our gingerbread man should be facing the right way. We've got it set to all views. We only need it in one, and it's either left or right. We'll try one and see if it ah, disappeared. So it must be right. There we go. So what we do next is I'm going to just expand this window a little bit. We can get rid of transform tools now. Again, the N key gives us a little more screen real estate. I'll get rid of T as well too. Uh, that's a toolbar on the left-hand side. And what we can do is select a bone. Actually, I'm going to select all the bones first of all. And on the first frame, we're on the zeroth frame or the first frame. I'm going to insert a key for rotation. Then I'm going to go back to side view. I actually, I'm going to scroll around and I'm just going to pick this north. Maybe I'll pick that one. And you can see that left leg, or sorry, the right leg is pointed back. And that's this leg, so I'll point it back at about that angle. And I'm using the R key to rotate here. I need to select that bone. Three key again. R. I want to try and match these angles fairly well. And that looks pretty good. Uh, except for we haven't done the arms yet, of course. And I think what I need to do is rotate these arms down. And maybe just a slight rotation in. Okay. Right leg is back, right arm is forward. It's 
So left arm will rotate back. And that is reasonably close for our first frame. I'll hit the A key and once again insert a key for rotation. I didn't need to do that uh, initial one actually, uh, but we've overwritten it with the new, uh, the new rotations. Then I'm going to advance to whichever frame I want to then insert a key for next, and I'll probably go to frame 5. There it is. We should be able to use the number pad. Yeah, you can see I'm hitting the left arrow, and you can actually watch the numbers count down 2, 1, 3, I'm counting back up, right arrow, 4, 5. Okay, so on the fifth frame, I'll put a, a key in, or a set of keys, every 5 frames, and make sure you select all of your bones before you insert a key. A key once again for that. Uh, I'm only going to do the first two frames and you can continue on there for, uh, on your own. So for the second frame now, what I want to do is it's pretty much the same thing, but now what's happened is this leg has started to bend and come forward. So we'll rotate a little more and we'll need to select that bone, bring it down, and it looks like this one here has on like that. Arms are in much the same position, but I'm going to drop them just a little bit. No harm in doing that. Hit the A key and insert a key for rotation. If I play back those first five frames, we should see him begin. Uh, we should see the beginnings of the walk cycle. And there we go. I'll leave the rest to you. Good luck.